This week, I want to talk about the impact that coronavirus is having across the globe, especially for small businesses, what it means for small businesses, banks, as well as for fintechs, and what we can do to elevate the concerns and the needs of small businesses, especially access to credit right now. Rohit, this is a fast moving situation with the coronavirus epidemic. What is the state of play right now as we speak uh, for small businesses and for the banks and fintechs that are lending to those companies? Yeah, so this is a very a big event what is happening. This is really one in 100 year event. Yeah. And things are moving very fast. World doesn't have any experience in this kind of events where the whole economies are shutting down. So the first priority is to you know help small businesses in any way possible. Uh, that means that you know how you ensure that they don't go out of business, how you ensure that they get what they want, and it also means that you know how to you know ensure that banks can still lend to small businesses without putting their own risk management and their own uh, capital at risk. So what are those steps that governments around the world are taking that are supporting small businesses and, and the banks and, and fintech lenders that are funding them? So right now, I think the governments are very focused on helping small businesses. Uh, so US announced a $50 billion SBA disaster loan program. UK announced a $350 billion program for small businesses. Italy is looking to do something similar. China has come out with you know, $100 billion plus of the stimulus package for the small and mid-sized businesses. I think all that is good. But the again, the biggest thing is that, you know, money needs to get in hands of small businesses and we need to prevent them from closing. And I think that's where the governments are still failing. They haven't done a good job. That's good. I want to focus on what you were talking about with the fintech sector. What exactly is happening right now in the fintech space? Uh, is there challenge with liquidity in particular? Or are we starting to see increasing defaults that fintechs are facing? What are the challenges those companies are coming up against right now? Yeah, so a lot of them, you know, have a very narrow equity base and they have a lot of liabilities uh, if they have lent money on their own balance sheet. So a lot of them will have that problem. Most of them actually uh, are, are dependent on securitization markets. So if this crisis escalates, you know, we will see uh, the freezing of securitization markets. Uh, most of the fintech lenders uh, didn't pay a lot of attention to uh, their loss rates of their portfolios or to their collection capabilities, you know, during good times and that will come and haunt them back right now. And I think the challenge for most of the fintech uh, players is going to be that they were not really around uh, prior to 2008. So we are one of the very few players who were there prior to 2008. Uh, you know, uh, we are... Uh, trying to you know move as fast as possible but at the same point of time a lot of fintech players you know will actually uh, suffer a tremendous amount of collateral damage in this and my view is that a lot of them will not be able to survive especially the players who have raised a lot of vc money and have been uh, consistently unprofitable will be the ones who will get into deepest trouble right now what is it that banks can do right now to improve the position of their loan portfolio for, for business and commercial loans? Yeah, so right now, I think the biggest thing that banks can do is that, you know, they have to focus a lot on risk management. They need to focus on a lot on helping their clients to modify their payments. They need to help clients to ensure that they don't go out of business uh, because that will lead to a lot of losses. You know, they need to focus on the fact that they have a very robust, uh, you know, systems in place, both in terms of, uh, you know, loan modification as well as uh, collecting the amounts, uh, you know, that have been agreed upon with business owners. So I think it's a, it's a very important, you know, piece that they should be focusing on. And I think this will lead to even more digitization and need for more digital tools and technologies, you know, for banks. And I think they have been slow to adopt that. They have been very reliant still on the brick and mortar branch network. My take is that COVID-19 crisis is going to change the business lending space forever the stronger players who have cash in hand and can manage risk better will survive and thrive while the weaker players will go away and this will also lead to uh, the need for making digital strategies and digital products and platforms a centerpiece for every single uh, lending institution in the country